Hey there friends. So behind me I've got my mining rig that I started building a couple months ago and at the moment I kind of wish I had it because mining has just gone It's really not making anything. So at the moment I'm down a few thousand dollars because of that rig but fortunately I didn't just build it to mine. I also am using it as a server for my Plex and then I'm running a VM on it as well and for the processor I've got a 6700K in it with this tiny little heat sink that you can see right here now for the most part it does a pretty good job at keeping the processor cool but i do notice that occasionally the temperature will spike up to like 82 degrees because occasionally inside cam i'll get an alert saying that it's jumped up to like 84 degrees or something like that so it, it's definitely having a little bit of heat issues with it and so i bought a d-lid kit to try and help with the temperatures inside this and inside my main gaming PC since that one gets really really hot since I'm really using the processor there but regardless I need to bring the temperatures down on the processor so I'm gonna be delating the processor and you'll see me do that a little bit in the in the video but right now I want to see what kind of temperatures I'm getting on the 6700k when I actually push the processor to its limit with Ida uh, what is it with Ida 64 so let's go ahead and see what that does after it's ran for 30 minutes right now I'm let's see if I can zoom in yeah. okay right now I'm pulling about 35 degrees with a 10% workload so let's go ahead and start up Ida 64 and already it's jumped up to like 70 77 degrees 72, 75, okay so it's only been about two or three minutes but it's already pushing degrees or it's already pushing like 90, 91 degrees so I'm just gonna kill it right here and delet it and see what I can do to improve it. Here's my 6700K just in the bottom of the delet kit and I'll do that a little bit, set that on. You gotta make guys, I'm nervous. Here goes nothing except for my warranty and maybe my 6700K. Oh, it's getting tight. Oh god. There it goes, there it goes. I'm just slowly tightening it. I don't want it to go too fast. It's getting hard. Uh, I guess. Maybe it's not going to go. <laughs> Heart attack. It's out of the way. Alright, time to see the damage. That snap sounds terrible, but I can't tell you how bad it sounds in real life. Like. Seriously, I think I just had a heart attack. All right, now I'm just gonna get this cleaned off and get it taken care of.
All right, so here's the first moment of truth, I suppose. I'm gonna go ahead and undo the, the lid clamp, whatever you wanna call this thing. I really hope I didn't mess up my $300 processor. That, that would really suck. <laughs> it's worth the risk, but I really hope I didn't. <laughs> Mostly fine. Let's see if I can get that to focus on it. There we go. I've got, I don't know if you can, how well you can see it, but there's a little bit of the black silicon rubber kind of coming out the sides from the processor, but I don't think that'll matter too much. I don't know why it would. I can clean that off. All right, so now that I've got most of it cleaned off, I'm gonna go put it in the PC and we'll, we'll test it out. The, the processor is now all the way back in, got the heat sink attached, fan attached, everything's plugged in. So here's the moment of truth, and to be honest with you, I'm actually kind of freaking out a little bit. The pop was really n nervous, and it, it's kind of a nerve-wracking thing to do. It, I mean, it's probably fine. It didn't seem too hard, like, actually doing it, but I guess we'll see how it goes right now. All right, turns on. No idea if it's posted yet. Seems to have. Yeah. I have picture, that's a good sign. Now I'm back into Windows. I'm idling at 25% load. Or 25% or 25 degrees with you know no load. Running at four gigahertz. So let's go ahead and start up Ida. Okay, so starting it. So from what I was doing before is it quickly shot up to 80 and then just kept growing, got to 92 degrees after a couple minutes and then we stopped. And I mean, it hasn't been long, but it's only at 55 degrees, only 55 degrees. And it, it's not getting any hotter. 51 degrees on average, 50, 54. Guys, that is nuts. That is a huge temperature difference with not a very good cooler. I mean, it, it's all right. It, it's better than the little Intel cooler, but wow. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna let it run for 30 minutes and we'll come right back to what it's doing after that to see if long-term use it gets any hotter, but judging by this I don't I don't think it's going to so we'll see see you in a second so I actually canceled the test that you saw me starting just a second ago and waited another day because I wanted the room to warm back up to what it normally runs at because normally it's actually fairly hot inside that room because I've got five video cards running hundred percent and there's not a whole lot of ventilation in the room so I wanted to wait till it got up to that, that temperature before I re-ran the test, and I did, and it was a huge success. I ran it for an hour, and I could have ran it for longer, but there was no reason to after that. The temperature wasn't growing anymore, it stabilized at an average of 65 degrees, and the hottest any core ever got up to was 70 degrees, so it's a huge success. I really didn't think I was gonna get that kind of performance or that kind of temperature change by doing this, especially with that little, bit, or little itty bitty heat sink. So what I used to, for all of this was I used Permatex Adhesive Sealant Black Silicone number 81158 and I chose this because I believe it's similar to what Intel uses to close that cap back up and it's able to get really, really hot. Like I think it said 258 degrees Celsius before it started having issues. So 
Should be great for that. And of course, I use the Rocket Cool D lid tool, which is very simple to, to use. And then I used some scotch tape to surround the the CPU die so I could spread the the thermal pa or not the thermal paste, the liquid metal across it and get a much better spread of that. And then of course, I used Conducta Knot liquid metal. Now, none of this was sponsored. I just wanted to see if I could improve the temperatures on that and it was a huge success. So I'm really, really glad I did it. I, it really is intimidating when you're tightening that, that bolt down and it pops off, but totally worth it. It's kind of a high now because it's just so invigorating to like pop that off and then see the temperature difference. So I'm really glad I did it. I'm gonna be doing it to more CPUs in the future. I need to do it to my main gaming PC with the 7700K in that because it has the potential to get a lot higher on its overclocks, but temperatures are its limit right now. So look for that in the future. I hope you really like this video and I really wanna thank you all my subscribers for subscribing to my channel. If you wanna be one of my subs, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.